as much as the bears freely poop around this city, I should be able to poop around. I should be able to poop anywhere I want and just blame it on the bears. Right, Barn Village at Steamboat. Wow, you know this camera is something else. I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 and I put it on low power mode as often as I can but it stays in a low low light level where like sun like this, day bright as this, I can't see the screen and it won't turn up the, the brightness and it's very hard to find the uh, manual brightness. It's hard to, to deal with at times. I really have to pause to try to get it all sorted. Uh, I'm following a trail here. It doesn't say no trespassing, but I don't know if they, do they have a single tr no trespassing sign in this, anywhere in the city? This is curious to me. And I believe I could launch my, my uh, drone right here I think this is a good spot to launch a drone over the Walmart. Is this something I want to do? I kind of want to do it just to get a little bit of a look around the area. Launch it right in the middle of the trail. It doesn't really look used much.
So this is property that you could just walk around and it's got the, the shed and this house all, all handmade, and I, I believe, and the windows, the window is in great condition. Not much can be seen in there. A lot of spider webs, looks like a bed frame to the left. You can see some people have kind of tried to get in. It's probably, yeah, interesting. All right, up here's a sign that explains this a barn. Oh, it was, it actually collapsed in and they rebuilt it. A yak, what's a yak? A poster using the, the barn as, okay, oh, what year was this? It's like the only thing that sat out there. It's definitely a, a homestead. Wow. Things really built up around it. Okay. Yeah, interesting. They're really building up a lot around this this Yak homestead. <coughs> and very nice homes too. These are definitely million plus homes. Looks like a nice architect just put them together, giving each one a different unique look. You gotta imagine this area being just nothing but a field all around from 1900 to 1950 and these people living out here in all this grassland where you get 10 feet high piles of snow in the winter and they still stick it out. I can, I can believe that the roof collapsed after they moved out. Um, I'm, I'm a little surprised it didn't collapse sooner with all the snow this area gets. They probably lived on a lot of bear meat when bears were probably a lot more plentiful. I was told by an old man on the top of a mountain that uh, the bears from 1970 to today have increased in number. He didn't see as many, he doesn't recall at least, you know, this is his recollection. They have increased in number. These guys are up in this every day. Every day I look in the sky and see these guys. I don't think you'll ever find such windy streets in lower class neighborhoods. They're pretty straight, straight cut. <clears throat> but these upper class, man, they love to create some of the most circular streets like their mazes i don't know if it's a security thing i would think it kind of is but they definitely do it whenever you see nice a lot of nice neighborhoods you'll find some very curvy streets <laughs> on purpose All right, when you go up to your apartment every day. There's a $200 fine for going out the wrong way. I guess this is the one, do not enter. And this is private property, so they'll fine you through the, the, uh, the management. Talk about making a good sales pitch, having a good, um, like, uh, attraction, attraction item for your business at the ski house. These are really neat. I'm sure, they're all gutted out. Well, not really. They don't have a steering wheel. Please respect our 1970 Tucker Snowcat. Enjoy by looking and not climbing in. Can you open it and look in? Cool, here's a steering wheel. Neat. Oh, come on. 
Oh, you had to slam it a little bit. So these are actually in operation. And you can get in through the back. Wow. That's how the people get in. Through the back. That's pretty cool. Just working with tracks, all rusty. Okay. All right. Oh, and then they got a ski lift up here on display next to a bicycle rack. I don't know if this is going to show up very good. Hmm. So a typical ski lift thing that you sit in, you set the skis in the, in the tubes and then have a seat. Bell engine, oh, wow. <laughs> they don't have any warnings about sitting in here. I wonder if people, oh, no? People get in and sit? It looks strong enough to do that. Right, and then this is the business. They open it up for business at some time. I'm here a little early, I guess. It's a bike shop. Hmm. They're making some some good money selling to the upper class. All right, coming up to the college here. See the library below, the river below, the main town that way. All the ski hill. Looks like they're still working on. There's quite a few people here at this hour. So I had to go through the grass. They don't really have a direct access. I have to walk all the way to the right side to get to this. Whoa. What? All right, so in the, the parking lot area, there's a little bit of a trail that goes up into the wooded area. All right, so it's a well-beaten path through such overgrowth. Pretty impressive. I probably want to go straight up. Take a little break in the shade. Yeah, it's a pretty good exercise. This is harassment charge look its worst. Before uh, a call to the police, during a call to a police, or after a call. It might be a little too hot for the drone. I think I want to launch here. Somebody burnt, made a nice burn pit for me. I can just lay my, my cloth over that. Yeah, I don't know about this trail now. It really is turning less and less into a trail. It's like really strong, getting pretty high up and then it's really, a lot of people seem to turn around kind of early there's really no clear end point it's a pretty neat view of the city yeah i don't think i could see my car from here all right there seems to be a bit of a peak at the very tip of what i expected I'm not sure how many bears could be sleeping up here. But yeah, the fence, the fence actually stops. I mean, yeah, you could climb over it. That's it. Pretty neat. I gotta admit, I, I have to do more hand landings than I really care for, but <laughs> there's just too many barriers in some places. And, it, and uh, I mean, I could take off from the mat without any alerts, but then getting it to land on the same spot it took off with all the things around the uh, obstacle avoidance kicks in hardcore and just puts it all to a stop. So I have to just catch it by hand. But I have to admit, it is pretty gentle catching it. 
I don't have to grasp it right away. It can really just land in my hand. The, the scariest parts are when it's windy, really windy, and it's just moving at way too much.